Hey guys, so today I am doing the very first of the Scrappery CT Scrap Space videos. Um, I had a much bigger, grander thing for that, but I failed. Sorry. You would have already seen my Scrap Space video on here. It has had, you know, it's been up for two years now. It's still the same Scrap Space. Some things have changed, but not a lot. So let's get into it and have a little look. Are you ready? Because I'm so ready to show you my space again. One, two, three, let's go. <laughs> So first off, these are the stairs up to the second story of the house. We're in a two-story townhouse and it's a small house but it has a lot of space and so upstairs is basically my entire scrap room. These are the two DVD cabinets that you see when you walk up. So when you come into the main living area we have these three really large uh, paintings up on the wall. Josh is very much into guitars and music and he just loves these even though they got nothing to do with guitars. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is the Scrappery in all of its glory. Uh, I bet you never thought an uh, online store could look as wonderful as this. Underneath is a box full of random stuff left over from the Scrappery. This is the table where I sort all the kits, all the product is laid out on this table. Um, but at the moment, it is holding a lot of wedding supplies left over from the wedding. So first, I'm going to start off with the main living lounge room area. This is a photo collage that I put up on the wall. Just uh, two lines of twine with some photos stuck up there. This is, you know, messy, messy, messy. These are where my babies are playing Sleepy Buys today. Say hi, Sleepy Bubba. Say hi. Hi everyone at the Scrappery. Hi. I'm sleepy. It's cold, it's winter, and I should be sleeping. Like Minnie, who is totally asleep right now. Min Min. Min Min. You gonna say hi to the Scrappery peeps? No. Pip is though. Say hi Pip Pip. Say hi. Hi. Say hi. I'm totally awake now. Mum woke me up. Mm, love you Pip Pip. Okay, so now going into my scrap space. This door goes out onto a balcony. Uh, we don't use it. We never open this door. We never go into it. So my plan for this space here is to get a set of Alex drawers here. Put it right in front of the door. We don't use it anyway. No big deal. If a fire comes, I will push my Alex drawers out onto the balcony and throw it over the edge so I can save all my paper. Um, and then I'm thinking on top, I'm going to be buying a mink. Well, it's going to be going on lay-by. So... I'm going to put the mink on top of the Alex unit. That's the plan. At the moment, it's holding my gym bag because I go to the gym a lot. No, I don't. And so this is my main scrap desk. Uh, this one over here is my computer desk and sort of my work area. This one here is my scrapbooking desk, as you can see, with the camera mount on top. And I think what I'll do is I'll show you through that first. So you've seen this set up before in my last video. I've done a video actually on how I shoot my desktop videos for scrapbooking. This uh, thing here is a guitar stand. It's Josh's horizontal guitar stand. It lays the guitar on top and you can play it. I've put a tripod on top and then I put the camera face down there and scrapbook from there. So on the corner wall here I have two of these, I think they're Dahlia, pink Dahlia prints. They're from Kmart, they were super cheap. They've been there ever since I made the scrap space and I love that pop of pink and teal on the wall. Right here, this is the Semco wrapping station from Spotlight. They were on special quite a while back and I just need storage. I find I have two desks, I have my um, Expedit unit which is only a 2x4 but I need more storage so I got one of these. So on the top here I have my two Instax albums. This is my new one from We Are Memory Keepers and I love the pink and the gold polka dots. This is just a regular gold album. This is a bottle of vodka. Um, I got that funnily enough from my nephew's christening when we became godparents as a thank you gift and I still haven't drunk it because I don't drink. I have this um, 
mirrored if you can see me hi hi um, this mirrored R in the back I have this container from Ikea with just some pencils and pens and stuff in it which I never use I have another glass jar here with nothing in it another Ikea container with bits and pieces I really need to sort out my pens and you know get them figured out because I don't use them, they're just sitting there for decoration really. I have this pencil case, and usually this is the pencil case I take to crops. And it has all my essential pens and bits and pieces in it, and a glue runner, paintbrush, and I just zip it up and take it away with me on crops. In the back here I have Studio Calico wood veneer stars and crosses and bits and pieces. And this one I have the Pink Fresh Studio coloured ones, which I never use. And I put them up there because they're the ones that I like the most and I never use them. Okay, so in this one I have my washi tape collection. And I just have it in rainbow colours. Believe it or not, the most colours I have are this teal colour. I do have some pinks hiding. That I need to bring out and put back in there but I use them for my wedding. Underneath I have, can you see, can you see, um, some of the sequin trims. We had some in the scrappery kits but I got them from Daiso which were really cute in some different colours and I just use them for gift wrapping and bits and pieces. I also have these colour theory ink pads. I have like a, a mint green and a coral and a pink and a grey I think. Um, I don't use inks very often, but that's what I have there. And down the bottom here, I just have random containers of things. These ones have some flowers in them. These ones have silvery bits and pieces in them. This has got some stray wood veneers. And this one's full of cork. Yes, I actually have a sewing machine, but I never use it. Because I don't traditional scrapbook and I don't see the point of sewing on Project Life cards. But now I've started traditional scrapbooking, I think I'm going to start using it a little bit more. From here, from the sewing machine, this is my cluster muck. Underneath I have my iris container, my brand new iris container, all the way from America. I bought it from Hobby Lobby and it got sent to my friend Taylor, who was my bridesmaid at my wedding and she bought it over in her luggage, so it was free postage. Amazing, love it. In the back here I've got, oh, there, I was looking for that. Ah, I love that paper. Um, so yeah, this is just some random scrappery stuff. This is what I mean by storage. I have nowhere to put my kits. So they just sit on top here and get like broken and yucky. And then underneath there, I have my new collection of enamel dots, which you will see in a Heine Daily video. And da -da -da, the bling slash enamel dot collection of Nay. And these won't fit in. Do I have a problem? Maybe just a little one? Maybe a little incy wincy problem. I like my bling, I like my enamel dots. I'm never gonna run out at least. So from the beautifulness that is <laughs> my bling box, I need a storage idea for bling guys so if anyone has any idea on how to store my bling let me know my iris container it's the same as Dell's all the different colors this one's white and I have gold this one is chocolate block full of prettiness um, pink this one's light pinks. Yes, I have a dark pink and a light pink. Teals. And these are all the ones I don't really use very much, including some wood veneers. Okay, so next on the list. Put my bling back up there, sort everything out. Is my trimmer. I have the Fiskars Studio Gold uh, trimmer. I love it, 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 I love it so much, yeah! Um, and up the back here I have three containers of bits and pieces. This is the current kit and this is how I'm storing it at the moment, the poor thing. Um, my favourite little Heidi Swap stamps. And then these little bits and pieces that I'm yet to put away. Some old kit stuff and bits and pieces like that. Okay, next is my workspace, and whoa, look out, you just saw a scrappery layout that hasn't gone up on the channel yet. 
Uh oh, sorry guys. Um, so basically, I have a brown desk if you can't notice. Brown desk and this light is merely for show, it doesn't do anything. Um, I don't like using artificial light, especially warm light on my, like for when I'm filming. I usually use the natural sunlight from outside. Um, but then to film on, you just saw that layout again, whoopsies. Um, I use just a piece of cardboard. This is just a thick piece of cardboard and I've put it down. The good thing about it is if you get splodges on it, it's only like $1.50. You can throw it out, get another one, no big deal, right? More bits and pieces that I need to sort out. They're from the current kit, except for these doilies. So if you haven't got these doilies yet, guys, get onto them. These are the mini, 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 mini Doodlebug white doilies and I am in love with them. I use them on Project Life on anything. They are just amazing. Okay, as you can see here, Color Theory in Clean Slate. I like this light grey colour. It's awesome. This is my cute Hello Kitty water spray bottle for doing, you know, stuff. Urinate. Yeah, that was really, you know, that was brilliant, wasn't it? To do stuff. I meant mixed media things. So from here, this is my Expedit unit and another unit on the side of my little desk here. I have this adorable card that Kayla Renee made me probably two years ago. It is still sitting on my cupboard. I love getting happy mail from people, especially handmade stuff. I just love our friendship that we have together and I love that card. It sort of matches in really well with my artwork that I had. Um, a little pinwheel at the top here, more pens and um, these are the Uniball Signo pens. I've used these since like high school. These are not the pens since high school, but I've been using them like this brand, this type since high school, and I love them. Here is my cup of scissors, my little scissors. These are my best scissors at the moment. I love them to bits. And I also put my Sharpies in here so that when I'm scrapbooking from the table, it's easy just to pick up a pen and start going. <laughs> lens cap, because I always forget where my lens cap is, so if I keep putting it in the same spot, I'm not gonna forget where it is. Down here in all this lusciousness is my Distress Stains, Heidi Swap Color Shine, and Mr. Huey's. And under here I have a whole selection of different wood veneers just in little bottles. I thought they were cute. Um, I really don't use a lot of wood veneers, but I just love how this cabinet looks. In here I have my two different size hole punches and some twine over here. A tab punch. In these drawers there's not a lot. Baby wipes. Fiscus punches. Stuff I don't really use, I just store in there. It's my only sort of form of storage. Onto the top of my Expedit unit. Like I said, it is a 2x4 Expedit unit. And on the top here I have, you may remember this, this is the very first Scrappery logo that I made for the promotional YouTube video. Cut it out of a silhouette and made this photo frame. The next bit is a bit of... <laughs> Bit of a sad thing, some of you may remember from my videos that my cat Bella died two years ago now almost. I think it's almost two years. And so this is her urn with her ashes in it and a photo. This is where she liked to sit while I was scrapbooking, it was her favourite spot. And so I just had to put it up there and so she's with me all the time. Because we travel, well we don't travel, we um, are renting so I couldn't exactly bury her in the backyard so now she's in a beautiful urn and She's just always with me and I can just look up at her and know that she's there. Before I start crying, let's move on. Wedding photo! Ah! Wedding photo! Oh my god! Yes, it is a wedding photo. This is probably one of my favourite photos uh, when we're walking back down the aisle after we just got married. Pom-poms everywhere, just so much fun. I just love it so much. Well, will you look at the lens flare going on this camera? Oh my gosh. Look at it go. It's because I've got light coming from this side and light coming from this side, from the windows. But this is my Expedit and my two Rascog trolleys. So I'm just going to do a, a brief overview of what is in it. I'm not going to go into too much detail. This is just bits and pieces, mainly off cuts and um, adhesives and doilies. This is my memory planner. I got through like one, two, like two weeks of May and then gave up. Yeah. Memory planning, I'm going to talk about it on my channel, but it's just, it's not, not for me. Um, AC cardstock in 8.5 by 11. I was so impressed that they actually make this. It makes it so easy for me to do my layouts. It's just, I can just pull it out and it's done. Over this one, I have some page, well, a page protector with a layout I did 
for the National Scrapbook Days. I need to get an album to put those in. In this one, I also have um, some Picture Mate papers at the back. On the side here, I have my wedding invitation that I need to put in my wedding scrapbook album. These are my flare badges. <laughs> you can see I use a lot of flare badges and not. This, oh, hit the camera, look out, taking the camera out. Um, in here are my sequins. I know a lot of you have admired my sequin storage from afar. They're my sequins, love them. In here is all of my Happy Mail cards and bits and pieces. Okay, so coming down in this one, I have this, um, I don't know if you call it a Lazy Susan, but it's a, you know, thing, that thing, yeah. Um, from Ikea with a lot of little cups and stuff. Um, some of them are full of tags and things, others aren't. I've got labels in this one down here. And when I'm sitting at my desk here, I can just turn this around and pull out little different bits and pieces that I need. And this one here is all of my label stickers, um, basically stickers in general. All my little word alpha stickers, bits and pieces like that in the back there is a fem um, memorabilia I should say. But yeah, basically all my stickers and things. Speaking of which I need to pop that one in there. So before I go on to the rest of the expedit underneath there, I'm going to show you my two Ruskog trolleys. Yes, I have two, 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 two. And I have the cream one and the ta-da! It's gold, guys, it's gold. I have a gold Raskog. Are you kidding me? Like, ah, uh, I love it so much. I actually took this down to my father to put the wheel on because the wheel had fallen off and needed to be welded back on in place. And while we were down there, we had extra gold spray paint left over from the wedding. So I spray painted it and I love it so much. So let's go to the cream Raskog first. I'll just pull it out so you can see. And I might have a little seat. What do we got? So at the top, yes, Pippa, I'm sorry, I sat in your area. Um, so at the top here we have stickers, whole heap of different types of stickers. This is the piece of paper that I usually use to do, like um, if I'm doing paint splatters or whatnot on Project Life Cards, sit it on here and it sort of protects everything else. Got some paper bags in here, bits and pieces, templates. Um, just all the different types of stickers in here. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. These are my lovely girls. And there's Kayla and Nay and my sister. My bridesmaids. Yeah, I love this photo. I tried to use it in a process video and failed, so I don't know what to do with it. And then on the side here, I have my roller date stamp. I have a Project Life just plain date stamp and I don't know where it's gone. Up the top here, Project Life cards. And I've sorted them in like little tabs. I've cut these out of the Cameo and then printed the labels on top. So the front ones here are just all mismatched ones that need to go back in. They need to be sorted. And then pink through here. Greys and whites, uh, these are just scrappery cards and bits and pieces from cut sheets I think. Uh, gold cards through here, there's a heap of those and they're the PLK cards from the scrappery. Over this side I just have some tags and random bits and pieces, a glue stick. This is where my um, glue runners go usually. On the front I have my staple holder and some bits and pieces. Um, I also have some magnets here. We have more cards in the different colours. Bits and pieces. I've got some frames down the back here. Some stamps that I don't use. So I have two of these containers, one on the bottom of each of my Raskog trolleys. And what I've done is I've just sorted the cards into colour. So when I do a project life layout, I usually pick like two or three colors to work with and I go to those sections and pick out a few cards that work really well together. Usually plain pattern ones, say with the green. I have a lot of green. A lot of green that I need to get through. Um, but I really like using, this is my gold stash, my whites and greys and blacks. I've got a few blues and teals. Actually, I've got quite a few. That's all teal and blue through there. <laughs> and these are just random colourful cards. So in the glorious gold Raskog, 
Um, I have this cute little heart on here from the wedding on the side. And this, my dear friends, is my thicker storage. These are all gold. I have them color organized. So blacks in the front, whites, clays, neutrals first, and then going on into gold. So these ones all need to go in there. I need to get some more sleeves. What I usually do is, because I'm mainly Project Life or 8.5 and 11 now, I don't have a use for 12 by 12 sleeves. So what I do is a lot of people have been using the fuse tool to cut a line down the middle and keep them separated. All I do is just fold mine in half, slick them into the top of my rice cog, and then I sort of have a filing system where I can flick through and see which ones I want. I can pull it out, put it back in, no problem. And they're usually all protected, except for the ones I've just put in because I've run out of page protectors. Oh my gosh. So that is my thicker storage. Do you think I have enough thickers? Oh my gosh. I'm not going to run out of thickers anytime soon. This section down here is a mess. It's just bits and pieces. And down the bottom are more Project Life cards. With these Kmart containers, they don't close all the way when you fill them up with cards, but if you only fill these sections up halfway, you can put them on an angle and it will close the container up fine and protect them perfectly. So that is the gold rust cog. I'm going to pull that aside and show you the rest of my expedit. It's so exciting, right? <laughs> these are my albums. They're pretty neutral. Um, I try to keep things very similar, very much the same. Neutral colours. I'm really into the white on white, black and grey sort of thing at the moment with touches of pink and teal. These are my wedding albums. They are the Studio Gold with the wood grain. These two are Project Life albums. This one is my current 2015. If you've noticed, I haven't put any labels on any of these. I need to do that. That's on my to-do list. This is, I don't know what this one is, end of 2014, which isn't finished. I have my iPad. I don't know why it's in there. Two of the 6x8 albums. This one I actually use to store stamps in. I don't have many stamps, but the storage is there. Perfect size for that. And then this one is a cute album I got from my friends at Spotlight. That's in Heidi Swap's handwriting, and this is from Amy Tan. And then all the girls and guys at Spotlight signed Project Life cards, and they Project Life for me. It was so cute. This album is just a blank album. I think I'm going to use this album as my traveling album to travel with layouts and stuff to crops and things. It is a We Are Memory Keepers in vanilla. So these are the albums I first started off with. Second half of 2013 was when I started Project Life. First part of 2014, I started with black. I thought black, nice and neutral, keep anything. Now I've gone to the greyish, and I love greyish. This is the We Are Memory Keepers in greyish, vanilla, and then the black. But I'm really loving the greyish, so I'm sticking with greyish. I'm going to use these black albums for something, I don't know what, but maybe I might put older layouts in it. Um, like the ones, um, like my old layouts from, like, the early 2000s, just to keep them all protected and whatnot, because I know there's a heap of layouts somewhere that are not in albums. Down the bottom here I have two cubes to put in my, like this is the only storage I really have, so I've got like so much stuff in there, there's mini albums and so much stuff. And this one is supposed to have paints and stickers, um, little bits and pieces, I have some stencils in there, just crazy. Yeah. So the last part of my scrap space is my study space. This is where I do all of my computer work, my photo editing, my photo printing, my cameo cutting, scrappery work, the lot, you name it. On the side here, I've got some bows and bits and pieces. My lanyard from the honeymoon. So some things you might not know about me is I'm a bit of a Game of Thrones freak and I love my Khaleesi. So this is my Epson picture mate, PM235. And so I just heard Epson is discontinuing this baby. Oh my gosh, what are our scrappers going to do without our picture mate? I don't know what we're going to do, but I love it so much and I'm so glad I have one. I hope it doesn't break down. Good morning, beautiful. <laughs> At the moment it's so cold here in Australia and I can't get by without my green tea fix. At the moment it is so cold in here in Australia and I need my green tea. I've been drinking like five or six cups a day, which is keeping me up to like 3am in the morning. Um, up the top here I've got these 
doily sort of covered lanterns from Typo, which are really cute, and they light up. Uh, my computer is an iMac 27 inch. That's my wedding video. Yay, I got it yesterday and I'm so excited. Um, yeah, messy, 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 messy. I need to clean my tabletop. Vlogging camera over here. I've got some things that I need to put up on the wall. Vera wing photo frame that I need to put a wedding photo in. And these are a wedding present from Heidi Swap and Amy Tan. Thanks guys, love you guys. Um, they were giveaways in Spotlight for the Spotlight Tours. They managed to get me a copy as well. Oh, I'm so excited. Perks of the job. But that is it guys, thank you so much for looking at my scrap space tour. I'm sorry it was a little bit long, I got a little bit carried away, but there is so much to go through, so much to show, so many plans in my head of what I want to do. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you like it. Be prepared to see three more scrap spaces in the very near future. We've got Kayla Renee's, Adele's and Sophie's coming up. They're going to be all different, you know, we all have different workspaces, whatever works for us. As long as it works, that's the main thing. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm going to take this little moment to extend this video a little bit longer and just say thank you so much for making the scrappery what it is. We have grown so much and it's all because of you guys and I can't thank you enough. So, yeah, my love, my heart, my everything goes to you. So thank you so much for supporting us and stick around for more videos comment below i would love to see or hear or discuss or link me up to your scrap space i'd love to see what it looks like um uh, if you have any questions about my scrap space to improve your own let me know in the comments below just love to hear from you don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video if you liked the scrap room tour thank you so much for watching guys bye